All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. Uh, this is Pastor Dow. Um, you know, I do a lot of thinking, um, as well as myself and the brother, and we do a lot of working out here straightway. Um, and I understand the challenges that present a, a lot of people's minds. Um, and I wanted to come up here this morning, or on here this morning, and talk to you a little bit about uh, religion in general and religious people. You see, I've been doing um, this thing for 20-something years, and I understand, I have the understanding, um, if I can use this saying and be pure, that Rome wasn't built in the day. And so I understand that when people, you know, first come around, they first come to the faith, um, that there's a lot of things that they're not going to have right. But I also understand that there's a lot of things that we here at Straightway don't have right. Um, and it's taken time for us to come to the wisdom and the knowledge of it. But uh, Pastor Dow does not sit up and have fallen out with people because uh, people don't do everything exactly the way we do it. Or they don't believe every single point. And, uh, and I need to address that for a second because, you know, many people, they get excited when they first hear me. And, and um, you know, of course, they understand that, man, you know, I, 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 I'm getting a witness in the spirit. This man is for real and stuff. And, and they do good for a while. Um, but the one thing that they never bank on is they never bank on that sooner or later, I'm going to say something that you're going to totally disagree with. Now, do you throw out everything that I've ever said? Do you throw that all out because one day I'm going to say something um, that, you, that you're not going to agree with? Do you just throw that all out and, and make it as if that, um, you know, everything that I've said before is not true? Do you do you uh, discard that? Um, that? That's what I want to know. And, and the reason why I want to know that is because you need to know that. Because this is what we've done with relationships. Now, listen to me real close. While I'm not going to be offensive and I have no intention whatsoever at all, the one thing I, I do want to say is that um, all, our, all of our lives, every single one of us, uh, we've come across people that have been good people. and We've come across people and we've had very good relations and very good relationships. Um, but then there's something that rises up in us. You can feel it on the inside of you that as soon as there's what you call a point of contention or a point of disagreement, all of a sudden there's that contentious spirit in there that, that says, look at them. And it capitalizes on the point that you disagree with. And then all of a sudden, uh, we go to war over that one point. Well, we're not like that here straightway. Um, and I understand that most people believe because you think a certain way, you automatically think that everybody else believes and thinks the same way, but that's not true. Uh, we here straightway don't operate like it. It's taken us years to get to the point where we are at in our minds, our hearts, um, to understand this. And so that's why uh, we understand that this faith is a growing faith. Um, and so, uh, you know, I'm not a goat herder. I don't, I don't preach to goats. And if you notice, I hardly ever even answer uh, the majority of the contentious people uh, who have that religious spirit. Uh, because the scriptures teach us foolish and unlearned questions avoid because they do gender strife. And, you know, I'm not about uh, to set up and answer every single question uh, that people have. Uh, because, you know, you'll be all day long trying to rationalize uh, with people's minds and trying to get them to understand um, some of the things uh, that we understand here straightway. So, you know, this, this walk is a, is a growing walk, and somebody has to be mature. Somebody has to actually know the will of the Father, and actually has to know uh, how, how to, you know, do this thing right, have the wisdom to, to know how to reach people where they're at. If I've been doing this 20 years, and you've only been doing this a year, or five years, um, I understand that, that you don't understand what I understand. And so I'm not going to sit and judge you based on the knowledge that you have in your heart right now. Also, there are people who have been doing this thing longer than I have. And that's the reason why I sit and I listen to them real closely. And I take the wisdom of the learned people, the learned elders, and I apply what needs to be applied 
uh, to what we are doing here in order to grow in wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Um, I wish that the majority of people had that um, type of spirit rather than looking for points of contention. You know, some time ago I went to um, Spartanburg, South Carolina, and there was an old bishop down there by the name of Bishop Walker. And, and I'm going to let you in on what happened um, at this particular congregation. Uh, I, I had contacted the old man, and I, and I told him that I'm going to be, you know, at, at our little small home fellowship down there um, in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. And so he said he's going to send a couple of elders. They were going to come down there and, and meet me and, and support, you know, the word of truth. But when we got there, what I encountered again was a religious spirit. Now, these are the way these people were. They were very cold. Um, non-responsive, very docile, um, and, and, and no matter what type of truth or how much truth I bought, they didn't even acknowledge that as the truth. Um, they, they wouldn't even uh, uh, take that as the truth. And it's, a, and it's a sad, sad thing because, you know, when, when I was down there dealing with these people and trying to be a friend to them first more than anything, uh, they didn't, you know, want actually that at that particular time so the next day the next day we turned around and, and uh, my wife and i as well as a few people we went we went to um his place and we were all amazed because the same men that came down there it's probably about six of them the same men that came down there when we got to their place oh they were full of joy and full of happiness and and, and um and their spirits was alive and and they hugged us and they were talking they were very responsive and 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 my wife and i was looking at each other we looked at each other and said what in the world went on what is going on what happened why did, why all of a sudden did they uh are, are acting this way when they couldn't be that way the day before when they was just them and our fellowship i'll tell you the reason why because their teacher their leader has, has taught them how to build up walls to where the expression of their heart cannot really truly be known unless he's around. And so therefore the people cannot function the way that they should. And so we cannot let brotherly love continue because when you have a religious spirit, it will not allow you to be just and true and honest with other people. So when people come around here and they don't meet the standards that we have, we understand that very well, nor do I require that, but I'm not going to have a falling out uh, with people because they don't do everything the way that we do. It's taken us some time to get to the point to, to do what we do. And what we do, believe you me, we know what we do. Um, and the way we are, we know the reason why we are that way. Uh, so I guess I'm saying in a nutshell, uh, there's no need in arguing and fighting with people. Um, over things that you don't agree with. You know, genealogies, the, the scriptures teach us that they're endless. Um, uh, names, uh, over and over and over again, endless, endless conversation. Um, and, and you're not going to get the people all to agree, but this is what you look for. You, you look for those who have the spirit of truth, who can understand what you're doing, and agreeing with what you're doing, and then you can tell, because they are ones that want to learn, and want to continue to grow. Um, they're sick and tired of religion. They're sick and tired of this false spirit. Come on, Tomoko, you can keep on going. They're sick and tired of religion. They're sick and tired of this false spirit. They're sick and tired of having their emotions played with. Uh, they skip from one church to the next church to the next church only to experience let down after let down and let down because of the hypocrisy of the people. Um, I often say around here, the reason why that a lot of people won't come to assembly and come to church because all God's children are like a bunch of little brats. They're unruly. And so they can never meet the father because the children ain't no good. And it's just sad. It really truly is sad. Um, so I hope I've said something here this morning that will inspire you to think a little bit. That, that's the reason why I passed out. I don't answer everything. I, I don't answer every single response. I'm looking for those um, who have a, a, uh, a spirit of wisdom in them to learn how to grow. I'll be the first to tell you, I don't know everything. I really truly don't. I definitely don't know everything that there is to know when it comes to the Most High. But we are striving to enter in at the straight gate, and I believe that I've actually shown enough work and wisdom, knowledge and understanding, 
as well as the people of, of the Most High here that we have um, done to the best of our ability as the Holy Spirit continues to allow us to grow over the years, uh, that we have made a concerted effort, um, a, a diligent effort to obey that word and to be examples of that word and to strengthen you, those of you who people who have the witness in your heart and spirit that what we're doing is so and is true. Um, we are, are not going to, uh, you know, just bust off and break off fellowship with anybody who wants to have fellowship with us, uh, no matter who you are. Um, the ministry of straightway is to the sinners. Um, and if you know a little bit about the Most High, and you can um, uh, become part of the fellowship, no matter where you're at, then we'll welcome you with open arms. Oh, but Pastor Dow's not going to sit over here and, and sit down and argue with you over the word about, well, what about this, and what about that, and what about this, what about that. No, take it to the religious people, and you're going to find out one thing about them all. One thing about them all, they're all are separate, they're all divided, and they're all still wicked. That's one thing you're going to notice, that there's no unity whatsoever at all in them. And and people haven't, under, they haven't figured it out yet, that the reason why nobody can't fellowship with you, because it's the way that you are. But yet and still, people can come um, out here straightway, and, and they can feel the Holy Spirit. They can feel the presence of the Most High, uh, because we've learned wisdom over the years. Um, so I thank you for listening to me this morning. Uh, I hope that I said something that will bring about an inspiration that would inspire you um, to see that, that this thing can be done. And it does work. And you can have a life of peace and happiness and truth. Um, Y'all be encouraged today. We got a lot of work we have to do out here straightway. Um, Y'all be blessed.